Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is Tamiya's barricade set. And we're only going to build just the bottom portion here, the hedgehogs. And also we're going to build a homemade log obstacle. And this is going to be part 7 of the Operation Overlord diorama. So let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have one plastic bag containing two sprues for the logs and for the beach obstacles and the instruction sheet. It's time for me to build log obstacles. When the Germans was preparing Normandy Beach for an invasion, besides using metal obstacles to prevent uh, an invasion, they also used log obstacles as well. Here's a picture of a log obstacle that the Germans built during the war. To make that log obstacle, what I've done was I went off to my tree and got this particular twig and I'm going to use this razor saw to start making the lob obstacle um, in that picture you just saw. I'm just adding some wood glue to glue the two logs together. Alright, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look! These are the completed model set before painting, and they do look nice. There isn't much to say about these hedgehogs, they do look very convincing, and the wooden structure looks very convincing as well. Originally, I wanted to have six hedgehogs in my diorama, but when I was looking at historical photographs of the obstacles, I noticed that there weren't a lot of hedgehogs around wooden obstacles like these. Here's a picture of one. Take a look. So I'm, I am not going to include a lot of hedgehogs in my diorama. It's time for me to paint the model. It's time for me to paint the model. I already painted the model with a coat of brown paint and now it's time for me to give it a wash. What you see right here is a jar of brown, dark brown artist oil paint mixed with, mixed with mineral spirits. And I'm going to simply give the entire model 
a wash. I'm going to give the wooden obstacle a wash too. I'm going to do some dry brushing. What you see right here is a color of rust in artist oil color. And what I'm going to do with the clean brush is that I'm going to take some of that paint and put it onto this clean brush. And then I'm going to take some of it out and then leave a very little of the paint on the brush. And then very carefully, lightly brush the entire model. The beach obstacle is a little bit too dark for me. So I'm going to give it a tint of gray, light gray, just to lighten up a little bit. I want to give these a wet appearance. And so I'm going to use my airbrush and spray the entire model with a coat of future floor wax. Okay, so we built the model kit and also made the homemade uh, log obstacle and we painted it and we weathered it and now it's time for me to show you the entire uh, process from the beginning to the end. Take a look. These are the completed model beach obstacles after painting and I think I did a good job. Um, What's really most impressive to me is just the log obstacle. Um, giving it washes and also giving it a tint of gray really brought out the details of this beach obstacle. It looks real to me. And of course, the Tamiya hedgehogs that I made looks pretty well too. I like them both. It's, it's a nice um, project that I made. So, um, I just want to say, as I've always been saying, um, please build your own model kits. I'm not here to glorify myself or um, trying to say I'm the best of the best out on YouTube or anything like that. My goal is to just really encourage you to build your own model kits. So please do. So um, please stick around for part eight for my Operation Overlord Diorama. And... Um, Wish me luck. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching.